The Be More Than a Bystander program is a wonderful partnership with the Ending Violence Association of BC and the BC Lions. What really works is, you know, you've got these on the exterior gruff sort of warriors that are battling on the field that are willing to stand up and say, hey, you know, it's not okay to treat someone like that. It's not okay to speak that way. It's not okay to be violent towards a woman. There is a huge difference between what we do on the field and what we do off the field. You know, violence against women is something totally different. You've got, you've got an inequality of power. You've got parties that aren't wanting to be a part of this relationship. We're, we actively want to go out and, and, uh, and, and beat up each other, knock each other around on the field. But that's, that's what we've bought into. That's what we love. That's what we're trained to do. We're professionals. I've been a part of the Be More Than a Bystander program since we kicked it off and I want to say that was during the fall of 2011. I'm a father of two little girls so it, it feels like it's, it's actually been a really blessing for me to, to be made aware of, of, of so many of these issues that we talk about. The, the vast majority of violence is committed by men and yet the vast majority of men don't commit violence. So I think that the, the reason we've focused on um, violence against women is because that's the big issue. But what we're talking about violence against women, we're talking about an epidemic, a worldwide epidemic. In our own country, we're talking about an epidemic. And so, you know, we're trying to put our efforts and our focus uh, in the area where it needs it the most. You know, I'm a big believer in, in sport and how, um, you know, you gain a lot of life skills through sport. So these are, these are young men, these are guys that are, you know, done with high school, getting out into the real world, and, you know, we're doing the same thing they are on a professional level, so we know they're kind of looking towards us, and we recognize that platform. All these men have an opportunity to be leaders for the future. These are all of your top football players from across the province. Many of them are going to go on to play at university or junior football or, or somewhere else, and, uh, you know, they'll have the opportunity to lead their teams and to take a leadership role and to hopefully change the culture, to challenge their peers, to stand up and say something, to be a part of the solution. I think this has been a, a big thing for the entire BC Lions organization. And, um, you know, those of us who have been speaking in schools, we're, we're just kind of on the ground floor. But if, if front office, if everybody in the building wasn't on board with this issue, it'd be something that would be challenging to tackle. Our leadership, you know, Mr. Braley, Dennis, you know, Wally, uh, you know, George, all of our, our, our top executives have bought into this. If we're going to be a part of this, if our organization is going to stand for being more than a bystander, then we have to invest the time and the money and we have to be committed to uh, having our whole organization understand what it is, uh, what it means to be more than a bystander, what we're, what we're invested in, what we're actually trying to do, how the change we're trying to, to, uh, to make in our community. And one of the statistics we always bring up is, you know, one in three women will experience some sort of, uh, of sexual abuse on some scale in their lifetime. And you know, I have three women in my household, so obviously that's a statistic that, that really hits home. It's staggering and it's, it's saddening, it's disheartening, so to me it's very important to be a part of the solution.